I've never done a Goodwill uh, video, so hopefully you guys like it. I'm kind of, you know, I don't know if it's just my area that I don't do really well at the Goodwill stores, but I do shop because every now and then I do find a, uh, a gem here and there. So I've never been to this one before. It's in the city of Alvin, Texas, if you guys are familiar with that area that I live here in Texas. And uh, yeah, let's go check it out. It looks like a pretty big store, so I hope to find some good stuff. And there's a lot of cars here, so I hope it's a good sign. All right, so there's a good little store. Let's go check it out. One thing I recommend, guys, is look through these bins. Whenever they have these bins out, look through them. Here's these depends. I saw a couple guys selling these, so I'm gonna check to see what price to go for. But this guy right here, only five bucks. Some of y'all know what this is, some of y'all don't. I'll explain what this is later. But I think I'm gonna get a cart. All right. So you can see these here. There's the pinch for men, maximum, large, whatever. This is what they're selling for. 29, 21, 16, 18, 15. So we're gonna go ahead and get all these. See here's, see here's the thing. If they got this NFL jersey, right? That's for 20 bucks for it. And that's why it's hard, at least for me in this area, to shop over here because you just you just don't find any really good deals. It's like they got people looking through the stuff and you know marking it, you know, marking it up, knowing that it's worth money. And what sucks is that all this stuff is free. They get this stuff for free, they don't pay a penny for it. You know, and they, they don't give, you know, opportunity for guys like us to go in here and try to make, you know, a little bit on it. It's a and little, and this is, this is not vintage, you know. And let's see how much it costs. Well, there's no tag on it. There was a tag, but it's gone. Nice. What is this? I don't know what this is. I don't know why these don't have, maybe they're priced by color. Better stuff. But I don't know the same thing.
Yeah, it's typical what you find here at the Goodwill stores, man. It's hard to find. They get picked up real quick. I right, so ended up taking ten of the uh, sorry seven packs of these. I got them for five dollars each, and I should get between seventeen to twenty dollars a pack on eBay. A matter of fact, as I was checking out, some lady asked if there was any more because she was looking to buy some too. I should have just sold them to her for ten bucks, <laughs> but uh, I didn't want to do that in the store. And um, this last thing here is a uh, real popular in the Me Mexican culture. It's called a morcajete, and it's a uh, it's a grinding bowl with a little rock. Uh, it's made entirely out of stone. They get one big piece of stone and they cut it down to this shape. And um, they use this for mixing, like for, for hot sauce and stuff like that. And uh, let me get my fingers out the way. Sorry about that. But um, but yeah, this is real popular. I'm pretty sure I can get more than $5 for that. I'll have to look up to see what they go for. If not, um, I'll probably just give it to my mom or something like that because I know she likes using these things. So um, not a bad trip here at the, uh, at the uh, Goodwill store. So um, up next, we'll probably get the video for the next estate sale. So uh, let's, let's see what we can find there. All right, guys. So I just pulled up to that second house. Uh, let's see what kind of goodies we can find here. Let's see what they got. A bunch of Christmas stuff over here. Good prices. Good prices so far. Like on the video game stuff. Yeah, I'm waiting for my son to come for us. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll yeah, just, just put it to the side. Yeah, just make an offer. Okay. Little potato here. I'll 
Mr. Comey is married by the way. If you think Mr. Comey is married, Lord Comey is married. All right, guys, so it's uh, later on in the evening, and we're going to do the recap of the stuff that we got. Um, it's basically like three estate sales that I went to. Uh, one of them I didn't get to film much, if at all. Maybe two of them. I don't remember. <laughs> but um, I guess you guys will see during the video what I was able to recap or what I was able to film. Uh, plus, uh, a little bit of shopping inside the Goodwill store. So let's take a look. So first of all, you remember those... Uh, Adult diapers. They're selling for like 17, 18 bucks. On eBay, I got these for four ninety nine a piece, and I got I think seven of them. And this is all the stuff from about two days worth of estate sale shopping. Let's see if it looks better without the light. Now we'll leave the light on. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna go through the stuff that we got. This little guy here, this is that rocket from, what's the movie, The Avengers, or The Guardians of the Galaxy? Hi, but it's only because you're peer pressurizing me. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's cool. Um, Y'all remember the... It's rocket time. All right, rocket. That's the uh, that ring. I know I've showed that with all the wrestling stuff here. Um, and some of the stuff I didn't show. This was here. This kind of neat right here. You don't find these very often. These are the old um, Lego, the Duplo, the big ones in the box. Never been opened. In fact, you still see some of the wrapping paper for whenever they gifted it. Right there. Alright. No particular order. Um, there's a Game Boy in the box. The lady wanted, uh, actually her son wanted 40 bucks or 50 bucks for it. And I was able to talk it down to $30. And he was cool with it. And just turn on. Did I take the batteries out? I'm gonna take the batteries out. So right now it doesn't do anything because there's no game. But let me put this down real quick. Also came with that Dr. Mario on Game Boy. Anyways, that's that. The old Mr. Potato Head. A couple things there. I couldn't pass up this little Scotty. It's made of glass, it rocks. Really cool. Paperweight, University of Texas. It's a utility tool, multi tool pocket knife this guy here I couldn't believe it only said 50 cents on it it's got to be brass 
It's extremely heavy. And that's one of those door knockers. Really cool. Belt buckle. I didn't see any writing on it. So, don't really know much about this one. I'll have to see if I can look anything up on it. Little brass lion. Little best box. I don't even know. It's just a little car. I've never seen one of these, to be honest with you. Pretty cool. Some kind of bill. Don't know what this is or what it's used for. Kind of neat, neat looking. If y'all got any info, so if y'all got any information on that, uh, leave a comment because I really don't know what this is for. It's made in. Well, it says India right there. Pretty cool. Um, Starbucks scoop. Anything Starbucks that you see in a garage sale, if it's a buck, man, pick it up and look it up because they're usually worth some money. And I think this is a. It's a yeah. It's a coffee scoop. Measures. Uh, Two tablespoons or 10 grams. And I want to say they sell for like 10 to 20 bucks, depending on which one it is. I think this one here goes for about 12 to 15 bucks. So for a dollar, it's not a bad buy. All right. Got a bunch of random rings. I think I overpaid for this, so unfortunately. I was at the estate sale. They closed at 4, four o'clock, and I got there like at 3 3.30. And I didn't get a chance to look real good. And she says she do this whole little mess of rings for I think 20 bucks. But we'll see. I'll have to open this up. I don't even know what's under here if it's a watch or just something for pictures or what. But I need to open this up. It's some kind of locket. It's a cool little stone. Some of them are nice. These two are the same. That's cool if it's bone or what, that's kind of neat. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right, going on. This is another cell. These are sterling silver rings, men's rings. You got this. I don't know if that's jade or what. Y'all tell me. All you jewelry experts, what, what is that there? Looks nice though. Got that one. This one here. Has a little tie pin. They had a bunch of this Fox Sports. Uh, this here's, uh, oh man. Let's see if I can get this out without making a mess. No, I'm not. Okay, well, I don't have, I think the other one's downstairs on the truck. But these are the, the camera covers that go on the, uh, on the, on the cameras on the field. I got two of those, a bunch of caps. And a couple banners too. All right, what else? Let's move this to the side for now. I did pick up a bunch of cassettes pretty cheap. I think cassettes are making a comeback to be honest with you. Or if not, they will be soon. It just depends on the ones that, you, that you're that you looking at. Oh yeah. Also got that little cute little uh, pin. Cute little parrots or whatever. That one. And this necklace. I gotta check to see if it's gold. It's 
before I picked it up. But all these are Elvis Presley, for the most part, all of them are Elvis Presley uh, cassette tapes. And there were two for 50 cents, or, or 50 cents a piece, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a Randy Travis, and I want to say, yeah, Willie Nelson and Will and Jennings. But I'm going to post uh, a screenshot of what these Elvis Presley uh, cassettes are going for. And I was surprised. I also picked these, this one up, it's Jackson 5. I'll be there, rock with you, working day and night, a bunch of the good songs. Janis Joplin's greatest hits, a bunch of good songs. And the Beatles, 67 to 70, a bunch of good songs. So I think the cassettes are making a comeback. I got a bunch of cassettes at home, I mean I'm downstairs, that uh, I'm holding on to because there's a bunch of music that I like. Alrighty, let's get to the other jewelry. So, a bunch of clip-on earrings. These are by Napier. Got these here. And also these. Same company. Oh, this is real pretty. Uh, turquoise. I don't know if sure if it's real or not, but yeah, it should be. Nice necklace. This is sterling silver. It's a bracelet. I'll close this up so you can see it on here. It's marked 925 right there. Nice little stones. This piece here, I think this is Brighton. I don't know, it's, it's marked. I can't see the markings right now. I'll have to use my eye loop. But that's a nice necklace there. That bracelet there. This necklace is by Monet. Nice piece again. This Astros Charms bracelet <laughs> that'll sell real easily here in Houston. Always pick these up. The cameos they always sell. It's a little pin. Got a. Seiko watches, um, any of these Japanese made Seiko Citizen watches, even if they're old, they still sell pretty well. So if you get them for a buck, two bucks, pick them up and uh, you never know, you might, might just need just a battery and you get to go. Um, oh look, these are here. Another small baby cameo, little butterfly necklace. This is, I think, Brighton also. believe so you know you just kind of put little stuff in there little necklace here this is by Chico brand new nice piece and I got all the stuff fairly cheap I think for all the jewelry that I got that one sell all this stuff here I paid I want to say 37 bucks so it wasn't wasn't a bad deal. Okay, you saw that one. That is a really nice set. It's a, it's a necklace. I see that little necklace. And who's this by? Napier also. If I'm saying it right. Got the earrings to match. And the bracelet. And then 
All right, and lastly, we had this little set from uh, this is Brighton here, and it's I think it's a necklace and a bracelet. I don't know. Okay, no, it's a necklace and earrings. So, but it is Brighton. It does come with the box, so it makes it a little more valuable. And that's it for the jewelry. And then these two little pieces here, they're little Aztec uh, calendars. This one's made out of wood. Really nice colors on it. Really cool looking. And then, I don't know what this one's made out of. Some kind of stone maybe? It's pretty heavy. Also, really cool looking. I completely forgot about this other bag of stuff that I had over here. So let's start over here. Um, here's some of those CBS Sports caps that I was talking about. They're brand new, never been used. And I paid a dollar for each one of these. And they go for a pretty penny. These are these Fox Sports. Um, I think they're called Mike. What are they called? Mike flags. The mic goes in here. Uh, that way they, you know, can just slide the mic and hold it, and you can see that it's Fox Sports. I think I paid two or three dollars each on these, and I'll put a picture here of what they're selling for. They sell for a good amount. these three here's a better look at that camera it's like a like a I forget what they're called but they go these go around the cameras all right and anytime you see anything that's like in a box I always look at it see what it goes for and I usually pick them up because they usually get a good deal I got these brinks uh, timers, I got this one for a dollar. This, um, what is this? It's another timer, I got it for a dollar. And they go for, like I said, they go for a pretty penny. That's another timer, yeah, for a dollar again. Got this ATV. It's a, it's a, what's it say, Fin Grip Pro Rack. Basically it goes on your uh, four-wheeler and it mounts on the front of the back to hold your rifle. And I got it for three bucks and they sell brand new for 20 bucks. So, it's no brainer there. Another thing that people are sleeping on are these uh, new, never used cassette tapes. I got these at 10 cents a piece. I actually got them for less because there's like, I think, seven of them. And I got them for 50 cents. So I'm going to put a picture of how much this one goes by itself. Right here so you can get a look at what it goes for. I really like this guy here. This is an old military uh, ammo box. Five dollars. Pretty clean. Yeah, it says 1953. I'll have to look that up to see what. 7mm M49 caliper. Uh, I don't know what the rest says. Pretty cool though. Set of locks may not be American. I have to take a look at that, take a closer look, see what this is about. Very cool. 
and I know y'all love jewelry. Here's some more jewelry. This cool little dragon piece, I believe it's made out of brass. A little pin. They're in Maine, Spain. This is a little ram. A little Art Deco design on it. Also made in Spain, as well as these earrings. They're all the same design. Nintendo Switch game, I paid two bucks for that. Got this bracelet necklace set by Coro. Vintage. Costume jewelry. I really like this set a lot. This one's by a company called Art, which some of you I'm sure know about it. Nice piece there. Another one. Sterling silver and that turquoise stone cuff bracelet. I think this is made out of pewter. Just a little owl charm. Nothing special. Looks cool though. And then uh, these little earrings that go with it. That I think it'll go with that uh, more necklace. And lastly, this little Houston Rodeo. It says Champion Buyer. I saw someone list a bunch of these for $29.99 plus I think $5 shipping. She's got a bunch or he's got a bunch of these listed on there. So I'm going to try to put this on there maybe do 20 bucks free shipping. Maybe maybe charge for shipping but it won't be much. I'll probably do $20 free shipping because I think I only paid a dollar for this guy. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, until next time, peace.